Welcome to iPads in Schools. Um, session today is going to be focusing on comic life. My name is Paul Hamilton. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. So you'll find comic life um, looking like a little bit of a T, uh, sorry, a comic book icon at the top there. You can see comic life. Now, when we touch comic life, once again, I've gone through this before, it opens up at the last student's work. So we've just got to be aware of that. Um, to go back to the gallery to, to begin a new comic strip, we touch on My Comics, top left-hand corner, and you'll see there it goes back to our gallery of comics. And if we want to create a new comic, we hit the plus sign. We know that the plus sign is for a new comic, and we hit Create a New Comic. Now, before we jump in here, a comic life is wonderful, a wonderful app for storytelling, um, for reflection. Say the children have just come back from a camp and you want to write a reflection on it. Great for school holidays. My wife, Jill, who is a Japanese teacher, is using comic life with her uh, high school students, taking advantage of the language settings that you can change on the keyboard on the iPad. So lots of different things here. Um, we might today go for a traditional template. Um, because the pictures that come up on this template are really, really clear. If you select one of these other ones, for example, this dark gothic type one, it actually alters the photos when you bring them in. So I'm, I want a nice clear comic. I'm going to go with the traditional uh, comic strip here. And we simply, this is called retro, we touch that template and we are ready to go. So this template works as in... Um, we double tap on the text to change the text. Um, today we might create a comic book story about an iPad man. So we'll double tip, uh, double click the your title here at the top. It brings up the keyboard. We'll change that to, let's call this comic iPad guy. Now when we finish with this, we just tap somewhere else on the screen. And when I do that, you can see it changes the font automatically to the theme that we're using, which is that retro style, which is fantastic. Now, Comic Life relies on you taking photos with your iPad or the students taking photos. So I've taken a few photos already. I've taken one of the uh, landscape outside our computer lab and also one of me just to show you to get started. Now, on this template, you can see the little picture icon there uh, within the center of each box. By touching on that icon, it brings up my camera roll. So probably the first part of what we need to do in our story is set the scene. Where is my story taking place? So I've got a picture there that I touch on that's of outside the computer lab here, and it slots in straight away. Now you can see the anchor points, those blue bubbles. That allows me to resize. Don't worry if you resize too big because you can actually um, select the area that you want in the box. Now, once you're happy with what's in the black box, you simply touch off the screen again, and it resizes it beautifully within my box. How good is that? Now, my next bubble, or my next box, I'll touch on the picture icon again, go to my camera roll, select a picture of myself. I'll make it a little bit bigger so we can zoom in a little bit on myself, touch off the side of the page, and it resizes beautifully. Now what we can do then is we can change the lettering, the text. You can see in the first box it says your words here. Well in here we double tap on the words, the computer lab was like a jungle dot 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 then we just tap off the side of the screen and you can see that it changes the text straight away now I've got a nice little speech bubble here I might double tap in there and say uh, my name is Paul tap on the side of the screen somewhere and you can see that it resizes it beautifully you can also see down the bottom of the page we've got all more speech bubbles. Now we can add those to our pictures if we don't like our current ones. So we just touch on one of those bubbles and drag it to the area. We can resize this part here if we want to. And once again, just double tapping, keyboard up, and we can say 
whatever we need to. So that's the basic of how uh, Comic Life works. Very, very easy. Um, you can see at the top right-hand corner, we've got the information, the picture icon, the page icon, and the spanner. By touching the, the page one, it's the second from the right at the top right-hand corner, it lets us actually create a new page. So once we've finished our first page of our Comic Life, we can create a new one. We can even change the template. We can change the layout. We can do a range of different things, and I'm going to let you guys play around with that. But this is just a really quick introduction to get you started on Comic Life and how easy it is to integrate your own photos and change the text within a template itself. Really, really easy to do. My kids love this, this um, application. It has huge benefits uh, from a digital storytelling perspective. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Paul Hamilton here signing off.